Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the post-game press conference following the semifinal of the 2024 Memorial Cup presented by Dow between the Moose Jaw Warriors and the Saginaw Spirit. With me is the head coach of the Moose Jaw Warriors, Mark Valeri. And Mark, I just want to start with your thoughts on tonight's game. Uh, tough one. Tough, uh, tough way to go out. Um, you know, I think uh, you know Saginaw played a heck of a hockey game. They forecheck hard, and um, you know we really couldn't get anything going. Um, you know, starting with our uh, our exits, just that uh, you know things are hard along the wall, and we just weren't able to get uh, get pucks going north as well as we'd like, and you know spent a lot of time in our zone, but it's just uh, you know one of those games I. Uh, we tried, we, we worked, we competed. Uh, it was just uh, couldn't get anything going offensively and ended up on our heels. And that happens against a, a good team. You know, they, they capitalized on their opportunities. Mark, what, what was the, the difference there in, in the second period? I don't know if it was really a, a one thing. Uh, again, I, I, I keep coming back to our, you know, our transition, whether it was through the neutral zone or on our breakouts, just, uh, you know, execution. It just wasn't, it wasn't crisp. And, you know, part of that is um, Saginaw's forecheck. You have to give credit to them. They, they come hard, they do a good job. And uh, we just weren't, uh, we weren't able to execute. And again, it ended up in a lot of D zone coverage. You guys have a lot to be proud of this season, uh, including your first WHL championship. How proud of you or proud are you of this group? Yeah, that was the the message to the group. This doesn't change one one thing about the way that I think of them. Um, you know, we're we're sad that we didn't win our last game of the year. You know, you want to finish the year with uh, with a win, obviously. But um, you know, at the the same time, when when the dust settles here, you you know you can be upset not that we lost here tonight, but be upset that you don't get to do it again with the group of guys that you did. I know it's a tight knit group and. At the end of the day, you're champions, and uh, nothing will ever change that. So, I'm extremely proud. It's uh, it's the most fun I've had in hockey, and uh, it's a pleasure to come to the rink every day with this group. How about the support from your city uh, and surrounding towns? I imagine there'll be a party waiting for you when you come back to to celebrate, you guys. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that uh, spent a lot of money this past week, and you know, flying in here and being around the team and supporting that way, and. Um, you know, you can you can list the, the number of people and the, the number of you know local businesses and who have reached out, and supported the players. You know, not only the during this playoff run, but over the course of the season, and they're all part of this too. So um, I'm so I'm so happy for the organization. I'm happy for the city of Moose Jaw, and this is a this is a real special year. And once we get through the the herd of the right now. We'll appreciate that again and, you know, understand that this is one special year. How about for your overagers, you know, Natalie and Martin and Lucas and the mark that they've left on this program, what can you say about them? Yeah, they uh, they started and ended as Moose Jaw Warriors, um, you know, and I think that's important. Number one thing you want with 20-year-old players is good people. Um, they're the ones that are, you know, that are leading the way and they have the most influence in the room. and. You know, that's what leadership is, it's influence. And uh, to have three solid people and, um, you know, that it means something to them to be a Moose Jaw Warrior, for them to go out as uh, as champions is great. I know they'll remember this year for the rest of their life. And uh, I know I'm sure if you ask them, they'll, they'll think that it went by fast. But, uh, you know, we talk about it at the start of every year that, you know, 16 to 20 year, years old, it's the best time of your life. I know it was the best time of mine, and uh, they know that now, but they went out the right way. Mark, coming back on tonight's game, uh, did you ident identify the moment where maybe the, the boat tipped over uh, during that game? Well, I think there was a couple moments. You know, we had those, uh, we had some flurries there in the second period where we didn't, uh, we didn't capitalize on chances, and uh, they went back and they hit on one and, um, you know, maybe it was the, the disallowed goal or the goalie interference. There's little moments in the game and you can go to, you know, just some, just some individual puck battles along the, along the boards. Uh, we come up with those pucks and they're going north. 
Uh, instead, they come up with it. It's coming south. We end up in D zone coverage, and it's in the back of the net. So it's these little moments that we talk about. You know, you never know, and it could be the most important moment of the game. And there was uh, there was a few of those tonight that you know sometimes you get away with it, but tonight we didn't. Mark, uh, what will you take back with you and your team about this experience at the 2024 World Cup? I don't know if there's uh, if there's one thing. I mean, the the thing that sticks out right now is how hard it is to to lose a game like this. But um, you know, I, I think the you know just the the competitiveness and you know how how special it feels when you're when you're playing against other teams. I think that's what uh, that's when it felt real. You know, you're so used to playing the, the same teams over and over and over and you know certainly that's special win in the championship but you know once you get here and now you see the best of the best of the the other leagues i just think that uh that reminds you of how rare and um, how much of a privilege it is to be here so those are uh those are some things that you'll think about when you get your feet up at the cottage in the summer but uh it's a it's a real special year coach uh, is there a reason why you didn't decide to swap goaltenders Yeah, Jackson Unger's our guy, and you know I, I just think that uh, if we were going to win or if we were going to lose, we're going to go down with our best out there. And Jackson Unger, you know, he deserves that. It's no different than uh, the rest of the players. We're uh, we're going to fight to the end. That's what the Moose Jaw Warriors have done all season long. So tonight wasn't the night to pull the plug on Jackson. He's been a he's been a rock goalie of the year, and uh, we're not sitting here in the semifinals of the Memorial Cup without him. So he needed to be out there to the end. Uh, Saginaw's fourth line was able to score four goals on, on, on your team. What is it that that line did to generate that much offense? I think they're checking. They're hard on pucks. I think they're uh, they're physical. Um, you know, they they just play a heavy style. I think it. They just they play to the identity of uh, of Saginaw. I think that's a big part of what they do, and um, you know, they do it with four lines. Um, There are three players that are most likely going to the AHL next year, and Matejchuk, Savoy, and Perkis. What do those players mean to the Moose Jaw Warriors? And if they are, if they all go to the AHL next year, what's that? Are they going to be leaving a big shoes to fill? Yeah, they'll definitely be playing pro next year, and um, they're just they're pros now. You know, I think you know, when you're running a, a junior hockey program, you know, you talk about being professional on and off the ice, and Uh, that's what those guys do, and uh, they're special players. And um, you know, we're not, we're certainly not here without without those guys. And you look at any good team around around any of the three leagues, you need guys like that. That um, you know, they're they're going to have long pro careers, and they do things the right way. And again, they're uh, they're a privilege to be around, and what it's uh, what makes junior hockey special. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, guys.